Pugs get along well with other pets and small children, even though they have a tendency to be playful and rambunctious as puppies. They usually enjoy a good romp in the yard or a good walk around town for exercise. But don't overdo it because they can get tired easily due to their short snouts. Pugs do not do well in extreme hot or cold weather. So keep that in mind when taking them outdoors. They tend to snore and wheeze when they sleep, probably due to their short snouts as well. But this doesn't seem to bother most pugs at all. Hi smart dog lovers, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be highlighting the things only owners of pugs know about their pets. Keep watching to discover the top three for the day. Don't forget to hit like if you haven't already. Also subscribe and turn on notifications for more content like this that will help you know this breed better. Let's get it started, shall we? Number 12. Too much shedding. Pugs are one of the few breeds that shed very much. Their coats are smooth, soft, and short. This means that it doesn't tangle much, but they still shed a lot. Be prepared to see pug hair floating in the air in your home. You will also find it on your clothes and furniture. Pugs do shed more during certain times of the year, though. Number 11. Wrinkles. Pugs are a breed of dog with physically distinctive features of a wrinkly short muzzle face and curled tail. The breed has a fine, glossy coat that comes in a variety of colors, most often fawn or black, and a compact square body with well-developed muscles. The smooth and glossy coat can be fawn or black. Silver fawns are also common, which tend to have black masks and black around the eyes. A light shade of fawn is sometimes called cream. The wrinkles must also be cleaned regularly. Number 10. Easygoing Temperament These dogs are rated one of the best breeds for apartment dwellers because they are generally inactive indoors and prefer short walks to long ones. This breed is a perfect companion for the elderly or someone who lives alone but also loves company. Pugs could be trained easily because they are eager to please their owners. They are strong-willed but rarely aggressive and are suitable for families with children. The majority of the breed is very fond of children and sturdy enough to properly play with them. Depending on your own mood, they can be quiet and docile, but also vivacious and teasing. They tend to be intuitive and sensitive to the moods of their owners and are usually eager to please them. Pug dogs tend to have a somewhat lazy nature and spend a lot of time napping. Number nine, sensitive eyes. This type is known for its sensitive eyes. They might be prone to getting dry eyes, which is an eye condition that occurs when the eyes don't produce enough tears to stay moist and lubricated. When you meet a pug breed, you'll notice that the eyes are very prominent on the face and they bulge slightly. Because of this, they're more likely to have complications with their eyes than the other dogs. If you notice your pug blinking a lot or having discharge from their eyes, contact your veterinarian. They are typically quiet dogs too, although they will bark when necessary. They will let you know if someone is at the door or something seems out of place in their eyes. You can always tell that your pug is thinking by looking into their big round eyes. They are very expressive dogs. Number 8. No, not the water. Pugs are not great swimmers. They tend to sink like rocks. So if you take them swimming, be sure to use a doggy life vest and supervise them closely. They are also not particularly fond of water because of their short noses and they prefer to stay on the ground. These dogs hate getting wet and it has been used as a joke by many. But another solid reason pugs don't like getting wet is because of their short noses and flat bases. They have a hard time breathing when they are wet because the water gets into their nostrils and covers them up. In addition, their short noses make it difficult for them to get out of the water once they're in it, which can scare them even more. Number 7. Prone to Obesity You should always be aware that pugs are prone to obesity if overfed or underexercised. If your dog is overweight, you should restrict his caloric intake 
and increase his daily exercise. Even though your pug is a small dog, it can still develop joint problems. Be cautious of your dog's weight so it doesn't become overweight as this can put stress on her joints and hips. They are prone to hip dysplasia due to their small size. This means that they have difficulty walking without limping or experiencing pain when moving around too much. Because the joint between the femur bone and the thigh gets dislounged from the socket where it should sit. Number six, snoring. Because of their short snouts, pugs tend to snore and make other strange noises when they sleep or rest. Some people find this cute, but it can be annoying for other family members in the house who are light sleepers. Many owners also know that pugs snore quite loudly and it can be difficult for them to sleep at night. Some breathers breed for smaller noses in pugs, which can make this problem worse. The problem affects some dogs more than others, so it is worth talking to potential breathers if you are concerned about this issue before buying a pug puppy. Number 5. Kids love them. Pugs are very sensitive dogs. They pick up on their owner's emotions and can be incredibly intuitive. The pug dog breed is known for its expressive face and funny personality, but also because they are great with kids. In fact, any type of family would love a pug. Pugs are one of the best breeds to have if you have kids. The reason is that they are very social and loving dogs, so they'll love spending time with your children. And this can lead to some really funny interactions between your pug and kids. And this type of dog is known for not only its expressive face and funny personality, but also because they are great with kids. In fact, any type of family would love a pug. The reason is that they're very social and loving dogs, so they'll love spending time with your children. This can lead to some really funny interaction between your pug and kids. Number four, portability. Pugs are small and personable. They're known as the portable dog because they are so easy to carry around. They have curly tails and little muzzles that squish into flat faces. If you want a toy dog that loves to be with people, a pug might be a good choice for you. Pugs are very portable in size and do not require too much exercise or space, making them an ideal companion for apartment dwellers or someone who doesn't want a large dog. Number three, tail curls. Pugs' tails uncurl when they are relaxed or tired. Their tails are curled because pugs are a dog breed that were bred for companionship, and so their tails were kept curled to look like a little C, so that they would look cute and appeal to their owners. People often think of pugs as hyperactive little dogs, but in reality, they're quite lazy. If you see a pug with its tail curled up, it's probably just taking a little nap. But if you see a pug with its tail out and straight, it probably means that that dog is excited or interested in something. Number two, chin rest. Pugs love to rest, so you won't find them running around the yard for hours. They prefer to plop down, chew on a toy, and watch all the action from their favorite spot on the couch. But don't be fooled by their lovable looks and sweet demeanor. Pugs are spunky little dogs that love to play games, especially if there are treats involved. Number one, they trust humans more than other dogs. While pugs are friendly with everyone, they're especially loyal to their immediate families. With strangers, they tend to be reserved until they decide the person is okay. Once they do, though, they'll follow the person around to show their affection and devotion. They get along well with other animals and other dogs, but will take you as the number one priority. So if you already have pets at home, you may find that your pug gets along with you and them just fine. Now it's common time. Tell us your favorite trait of pugs and let us know if this breed sheds or snores the most. Also, do make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any dog-related content from Smart Dog Lover. That's all for today, guys. Ciao.